Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. <laughs> Sí, ¿Cómo no?
Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. We are going to start today. So I hope you had a very nice day and uh, we're going to check the platform. Of course, that would be the first thing. So this is the class for today and uh, there is already the question for you to participate, definitely. Okay, and we are going to check the attendance, of course, as usual. So let's see. Okay, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. I'm here, teacher. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present, good evening. Good evening. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Okay, so we are going to start the class of today. Present teacher, good evening. Uh, Sandra, is that you? Guadalupe. Ah, Guadalupe, okay. Okay, so we're going to start the class of today. We're going to continue with warehousing. So you remember that we were checking about that specifically last class. So we're going to continue, of course. Okay, so we're going to continue reading about warehouse management. So let's see, um, Rafael, could you please read the first one? Yes. Good. Principle of warehouse man management. Understanding the general principle of warehouse man management can help you focus your effort of optimize the way your warehouse operates. This principle include now your or pause. A warehouse operation must first and foremost know its objectives. For example, do your customer have a specific delivery requirement? Does your inventory need a specialized storage? Additionally, all warehouse operation and aim to use warehouse space, labor, and equipment as efficiently as possible. Good. So what do you understand about this one? Um, it's, it's very important uh, now your, your objectives uh, for uh, you, you can uh, 
Uh, what did you say? Alcanzar? Achieve. Achieve the, the goals. Very good. Perfect. Nice. So, yes, uh, yesterday we started speaking about warehouse management and now we are starting the class with the principles of warehouse management. So, the first one is know your purpose. So, of course, management, I mean, warehouse is part of the whole company. It's not the whole company, but it's part, important part. So, must first and foremost know its objectives. So if you have an objective, the warehouse is going to be part for you to achieve, as Rafael said, that objective. That is so, so important. So, and it says, for example, do your customer have specific delivery requirements? So you need to understand your customers. What kind of package do they want? Do they want something that is easy or fancy or expensive? Does your inventory need specialized storage? Oh, that is basic, right? Like illumination or temperature. Additionally, all warehouse operation aim to use warehouse space, labor and equipment as efficiently as possible. So you remember that yesterday also we were talking about inventory management that is not the same as warehouse management. So in warehouse, we include not only the space, but also the labor and the equipment and the processes and many other things. So question, what is foremost? Anybody knows? What is foremost? Hello, anybody? I'm I'm laughing because I remember the the brand of the milk, <laughs> my God, foremost <laughs> many years ago. <laughs> um, but oh my God, I think that is um um it's like um uh, when you say um before anything else very good that is foremost is this is the very most important thing right something like that mm -hmm. and does does that milk brand still exist it doesn't exist anymore right i i i don't rem i remember that i saw that one but i don't by now i don't see that that brand anymore anyways okay the other one it was let me see labor do you remember what was labor regarding these procedures that we are checking if we say labor what is this about it's like a sticker name i'm sorry like a sticker Label? No, that's label, but this is label. Oh. So it says here, as you can see, warehouse space labor. Oh, labor. Mm -hmm. What is labor? That is the question. Do you labor know? Is the, labor is the job or the work? That is it. Labor, it, it refers to the people that work for the company, in this case, for the warehouse. So labor includes everybody in the company, labor. Very good, so equipment and there is no other question. So the next one, comprehensive control. And Nelson, could you please help us through in this one? Hello. Sorry. Uh, okay. No, your purpose. And no, the second one, please. What? The second one, the next one. Ah, compressive control. Yeah, please. Okay. The warehouse management involves a coordinating complex process involving many moving parts, people, equipment, order, and inventory. 
warehouse manager needs to be up to track each process in order to ensure it's running smoothly and solve the problem that enable and make it happen. According, quality control is criti critical to ensure orders are fully there according to. Very good. So what do you understand on this one? The the gestion the is is big, but a administrator in the in the warehouse, uh, for example, it, it checks the quality. The, the control is more specific or or or, or critical. Uh, I think. Okay, very good. So, yeah, comprehensive control, meaning that, of course, you need to have a control according to the processes, right? It says warehouse management involves coordinating complex processes involving many moving parts. So that is the first thing that we need to pay attention to. So is, this is about coordinating time and the way that you move. Everything is very important here. What do we move? People, equipment, orders, and inventory. Warehouse managers need to be able to track each process in order to ensure it's running smoothly and solve the problems that inevitably occur. So, yeah, managers, the warehouse manager, the head of the warehouse has a huge job, right? Because every process is critical and everything can impact the whole business. So uh, what is smoothly? Do you remember what is smoothly? Smoothly, softly, carefully. Very good, that is smoothly. Something that is nice, is working very, very good in a very good way. Perfect, do you have any questions on the first part? Questions. Okay, so we are going to continue with the principles. There are still principles about this. Okay, uh, let's see. Guadalupe, could you please read flexibility and resilience? Hello, Guadalupe, are you here with us? Yes, teacher. Okay. So please Flex read flexibility, yeah. Flexibility and reselling, reselling. Warehouse manager have to be able to change plans on the fly. Whether, whether it's, it is because material have arrived, arrived, arrived damage or, or because inclement weather is delaying shipment. It is also important to be able to adjust workflow to maximize offenses whether, whether that involves um, rearranging, rearranging, rearranging uh, warehouse space or remaining Picking process. What do you understand on this one? Any idea? Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry. So flexibility and resilience. First question, what is resilience? Anybody? Yeah. 
Anybody remember this word? What is resilience? Is maybe um, an attitude in front of the problem where you find the solution. Very good, perfect. Yeah, that is resilience. When you have something, obstacles in, on front and you are able to adapt yourself so you can solve them. So adapt to the change that is in front of you. The ability that we have to recover. Very good, to or, recover. Or passion, I don't know. Yeah, like in a regular life, sometimes there are problems, right? There are always problems. Sometimes there are minimal problems, sometimes there are big problems. So we need to, sometimes we feel bad at the moment, some days, but we need to continue, right? We need to adapt ourselves and move on. So it says warehouse managers have to be able to change plans on the fly. What do you understand on this one? Change plans on the fly. What is that? That is an expression very common in the US. On the fly, what is that? Okay, it's like very quickly in the moment. In during so, the execution, teacher. That is it. Hmm. During the process that maybe, you are running. Maybe when something happens suddenly and you don't you don't know what to do, but you have an idea to, to put the things in order again. That is it. Very good. Perfect. So on the fly means that I didn't expect this problem. The problem came right now. And I have to do something right now. So mm -hmm. I don't have time to go and think and planning or read the solution, look for an answer. You need to decide right away in this very moment. So that is- It's like a speed reaction. <laughs> exactly. So since you are the expert, right? You are the manager and the company is paying you for you to resolve problems. You need to act right now. Good. It says whether it's because materials have arrived damaged, I imagine that problem. I imagine that the materials that you requested are damaged. So you cannot, you cannot produce like that. What would you do in that situation? You are there in the process and you receive the materials and all the materials are damaged. Oh my goodness. What do you do? Maybe a... maybe execute that plan B. Okay. Very and, good. Ma and maybe change the production to another product and and in where while you are trying to resolve what happened or, or I don't know, uh, you start with another thing, but it doesn't mean that it is it it isn't important, but you have to think, you have to make it out what what to do very good perfect i mean yeah in the very moment maybe the first thing that you do is to call the provider right hey my friend these things are not working they are damaged what we're gonna do request for a solution maybe that is the first thing right but what happens when they say okay i can send you another material packaging next week my goodness so what do i do do I stop? Of course, some decisions like that, if you have a boss, you need to speak with your boss, right? And check if you have some materials in the warehouse. I don't know, research, check what you can do. Sometimes if there is no solution, you need to stop. But that is going to impact the business. 
some companies also they stop and they send people home, right? So they say, okay, my friends, there is no material, so you can go home for one week. Of course, if you do that one, you need to pay people, right? Because it's not their fault. So it's going to be an impact, but at least you are going to save energy, equipment. Maybe you can get, provide maintenance to the, to the machines or you can do some other things in this week that you are not going to be producing, but it's going to be an impact on the company, definitely. So that is, I mean, that is something that is going to happen. And this, then it says, all because inclement weather is delaying shipments. Again, that specific situation is something that happens. I mean, in the US and here in El Salvador, sometimes it's raining a lot and sometimes there are floods and sometimes. I remember the last hurricane in Miami delay the, the shipment uh, to our products and we have to wait because for the hurricane they can dispatch nothing and it's uh, it takes some time sometimes some more days that the that the products arrive and we have to we have, we, no, we, the company or the, the general manager uh, at the company have to send a letter to the government because it was a licitation, I don't know how to say licitation. And they they have a date, a due date to, to receive the product, but because the hurricane, they have to send a letter and my, or apologize, but they understand that that the weather was was bad. That happens, right? And so in the meantime, you didn't do anything. You need to wait until that delivers, right? So you cannot do anything. And that is another thing. I mean, sometimes you need to apologize for some things that are not your fault. But since you are the, the company, you need to go into it and say to your customers, I know that you're waiting for this one. I know this is very important for you. And uh, well, as soon as we have this, we're going to provide you. Maybe we can provide a little discount or a benefit or anything, right? But we cannot do anything. Good, perfect. So that happens and we need to be ready, maybe with a plan B, but sometimes it's not possible. It's also important to be able to adjust workflows to maximize efficiency. So that is something like, like a regular improvement in the company. You can stop and check about the procedures and then think how you can improve. What is a workflow? Anybody? What is workflow? It's like a process. Very good. It's like a process where you define task to task, step by step, the way that everything is, it needs to be done. Good. Okay, so let's see. There are no other questions, I guess, here. Rearranging, what is rearranging? Anybody remembers that? Rearrange. What is to rearrange? It's like reorganize. Reorganize. Very good. Yeah, it's when you have to move some pieces of the processes or procedures and put in a different order. And the other word is reimagining. What is reimagining? Uh Change, change, imagine. Well, yeah, it might be something related to that one, but it's imagining, reimagining, picking process. So it's going to be like being creative, right? To imagine. Creating new, creating new. Exactly. To create something new sometimes. As we say about resilience, you have problems and you have to overcome those problems. And you cannot 
I mean, you cannot fail or you can fail, but not that much, right? Okay, the next one is going to be for uh, Carla. Could you please read customer focus? Customer focus. On time delivery with the correct product is one of the most important metric when it's come to customer service and satisfaction. To delivery on time, you need to be able to fulfill order quickly and accurately. Good, what do you understand? Accurately. Um, I, I think that means is when have a excellent workflow because all process are in the in the minus minus time don't have uh, problems don't have a um, process layer 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 and all all have on time or just time very good. So remember that this is part of a business and there is always a final customer, always, all the time. So on-time delivery with the correct product is one of the most important metrics when it comes to customer service and satisfaction. So two things, on time and the correct product with the right amount, with the right characteristics. So that is very, very important, okay? Uh, to deliver on time, you need to be able to fulfill orders quickly and accurately. So it's not only the delivery. The process starts when a customer places an order, right? And you go and check the inventory, what, what you have in stock, what will be the process procedures, things like that. So they, it, the process starts from there, definitely. Okay, the, um, there is no questions on this one, no words. Uh, Data-driven decision-making. Rose, could you please help us with that? Data-driven decision-making. Even if every warehouse process appears to be running without a hitch, it doesn't mean processes are operating as efficiently as possible. A WMS can help you pinpoint and analyze areas that need improvement. Perfect, what do you understand on this one? Um, doesn't, it doesn't matter that the, the system uh, is running um, without a problem. It's everything is okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, but um, uh, a water warehouse manage, management system can help you pinpoint. Let me find pinpoint. Oh, pinpoint. Um, oh, it's like uh, exactly. Uh huh. Uh, the system can help you. Uh, um, to analyze uh, the areas that need uh, more attention, I think. Okay, very good, perfect. So yes, data-driven decision-making. The title tells you that this is about technology. Maybe not the system itself, but the data that you get from the system. So that data is going to help you identify and improve and make more profit, improve the procedures, things like that. So definitely that is part of it. And it says, even if every warehouse process appear to be running without a hitch, what is without a hitch? Without a hitch is without a problem. Very good, without any problem. Sometimes that happens, right? Sometimes you believe that the uh, everything is running well, that the process is fine, but there is always something that you can improve. So there are some things that you can change. 
It doesn't mean processes are operating as efficiently as possible. A WMS, that is a warehouse management system, can help you pinpoint. What is pinpoint? It's like a pre precise, precise. Okay, to precise, to identify exactly what is going on, to put, to point to something, right? Mm -hmm. Here is something that we need to take in consideration and analyze areas that need improvement. Good, any questions about this part? What's meaning WMS? WMS is a warehouse management system. Okay, that's it. Good. This is a program. I'm sorry? WMS is a, it's a program. It refers to software, yeah, to software that is getting the data in it, anything like that. Okay. Okay. It the program can help you when in one process is not no is not correct. In the in the in the in the in the program or or help our system, but the the or program or or process is good. Uh, could you please repeat your question? That the M, uh, WMS is is a program that ye help help uh, the in the process. Definitely, yeah. It, the software is also very important for you to get the data and also to analyze the data to make reporting and then of course make decisions. Data driven decisions as we say before okay good so the next one is warehouse management processes uh we're going to start this one with sell me please okay teacher the paragraph yeah the first part please paragraph. warehouse management includes its core processes its process influences the efficiency of the net. So every step must be optimized for the warehouse operation to run, to run like a well-oiled machine. Very good. So there are different processes that we need to take whenever we're speaking about warehouse management. So remember that these are things that are already, are already established. And uh, it's better for you to follow these patterns so you can have a very good result. So warehouse management includes six core processes. Do you remember what is core? The objective. The objective, like the principal ones, the main mm -hmm. ones, right? So maybe there are more, but these six are the most basic. You need to do this, okay? So each process influences the efficiency of the next. So that part is important. That means that if one process is not good, then the next one is not going to be good anymore. It's like a chain, right? If something fails, the rest is not going to work. So every, every step has an impact. So every step must be optimized for the warehouse operation to run like a well-oiled machine. Of course, you get that one. So the first one is receiving. Ada, Patricia, could you please read receiving? Okay, teacher. Receiving. Check in and load incoming items. Verify that you're receiving the right quantity in the right condition at the right time. Good. What do you understand on this one? No, teacher. I don't know. Okay, it's uh, actually very simple, receiving, meaning that whenever the provider sends you the materials, you need to check in and log incoming items. So checking means that you go and check that everything is fine. And log means that you are going to record the numbers, the, the any observation that you might have. So whenever you receive materials, you need to be sure there should be a checklist about quantity and quality on the items, okay? 
And it says, verify that you're receiving the right quantity. Of course, we say that in the right condition at the right time. So the first process is that to receive the materials or any incoming products in with a standard, right? And standard about what we have required. Good. Um, Similar, teacher. Similar uh, inventory receive products. Uh, yeah, when you receive, you check the inventory and then also the quantity uh, and the quality and anything that might be, and you need to record that one. You need to have entered that into the system, right? So that is understood. Okay. Good. Perfect. Put away, Osmin, please. It's okay, teacher. <clears throat> Put away more item from the receiving, receiving doc to their correct storage location. What do you understand on this one? No teacher, no how I clear idea this moment. Okay, perfect. Don't worry. Everybody, what is to put away something? What is that? Put away. Um that uh, point maybe talk about when you have a uh, a lot of a uh, warehouse, for example. And when you receive a product and you must move the product to the correct storage or the correct warehouse. Perfect, that is it, right? So to put away means that you receive something, but then you need to put them in the right place. So remember that sometimes we require the right illumination, the right temperature, the right way for you to move things. So put away, uh, but anybody remembers what is just to put away? I mean, I can say here, I will put away the, um, the cell phone. I will put away the clothes. What is put away? The storage, storage teacher. Very good to store it, to put it in the right place. Very nice. Good, the next one is going to be for, uh, for Sandra. Could you please read storage? Picky? Storage. Uh, storage, yeah. Storage. Safely stored in local, lo logical arrange inventory to enable fast and accurate picking. Accurate picking. Okay, what do you understand on this one? Ordinary, ordinary products and, and uh, uh, fast, fast uh, in, in, in storage or or got a house before lo logically. Yeah, definitely. Storage means that you are going to put away in the warehouse the items, but you have a system, right? In the system, you are going to decide, for example, some of the most common inventory systems is uh, first in, first out. So the first thing that comes into the warehouse is the first thing that we are going to deliver, that we're going to sent sometimes it's different sometimes it's a uh, last in first out that that sometimes is more based in costs in money uh, but it's possible to do that one so you have to have a a way for you to arrange the inventory in the warehouse in a way that you will be able to get fast that and move move it to the next stage so that is very important good move move products the get details move products. Very good. That is it. So that is very, very important. Nice. The next one is speaking is for lower this. Okay, picking. 
speaking, collect the items needed to fulfill, or to fulfill sales orders. Very good. What do you understand on that? Mm. Um, when you when you receive the the product, you you have um, you have checked the orders, for example, in sales orders, and uh, you send it to the customer, for example. Well, actually, it's going to be just the first part, just to pick, just to get the things, the items, just to collect. So when you receive an order for a from a customer, you will be able to go to the system and go and pick the right the right items for you to fulfill an order or for you to process. Remember that sometimes if this is a, a factory where you are creating a product, sometimes you need to pick not to sell it, but to produce something. So that is it. Of course, the next one is packing floor. Could you please read this one? Packing, prepare the pick, pick, pick items pick. for pick items for treatment. The must be safe, safely packed to the correct packaging with an accurate pack, packing slip. Perfect. What do you understand on this one? Um, the correct the correct packing is very important. Definitely, right? So packing is one of the most important things. Prepare the picked items for shipping. So when the product is finished, you need to have uh, the boxes or the bags or the paper or everything in a way that is going to be safe and uh, also in the correct packaging with the correct labels with everything has to be accurate and uh, packing slips says uh, okay and let's check the last one the last one is going to be shipping and that is for let's see uh, 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 Ophelia okay teacher it's been teacher Shipping. Shipping. Shipping sends all final sub orders in 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 I guess they are on the ring. The the ring clean. As the ring clean, I read the correct document. I send customer to the seller. I get order on team. Okay, so what do you understand on this one, Ophelia? Uh, I guess uh, ordering the, the document is um, um, customer the uh, ordinary la document, la documentation. Uh, I, I receive uh, and and or or uh, in in order. Okay, so shipping, of course, is the last part. So remember that this is not about distribution. In logistics, we also checked about 3PL and what is going to happen if we are going to send this to a distribution center or things like that. In this case, shipping is the last step. So send out the finalized sales order ensuring that they are on the right vehicle. So all these details are very important, that they are on the right vehicle at the right time with the correct documentation. So customers receive the orders on time. I believe this is very easy. As you can see, the processes are very, very basic actually. Receiving the materials or the goods or anything like that put away, 
storage in the right condition, meaning that maybe they're going to be there for a while. Picking, when you place an order or somebody places an order, you can go and pick the items, pack, and then ship. So it's going to be kind of basic. Of course, there might be different processes, other processes, depending on the product and depending on the kind of business that you are running. Do you have any questions on this? No questions. Let's move on then. So now let's speak about warehouse optimization. So everybody, what is optimization? to get the best results. Okay, very good. To get the best results. Any other opinion? Doing the things more effective. I'm sorry, could you please repeat? Doing the things more effective. More effective, very good. Effective, the best results. What else? Good results. Good results, very good. Uh, a question for you. How is different maximization than optimization? Do you know that? In general, of course. Uh, for me, optimization is when you uh, have a few materials and you, you, you have a, a big result uh, and maximization is when you, uh, uh, a specific material, you have, or, or you, you, you make a, a, a big, big things, for example. Okay, very good. Zulma? Uh, I think optimization is when you use a, a one, no, 100% your capacity. And maximization is when you uh, when you produce with minimized resources. Okay, very good. Uh, Go ahead. Or, no, only. Okay, perfect. Nice, uh, Carla. Uh, max, max, maximization refers to the search for a maximum performance by exploring certain resource or function. And, and optimization is when you, when you, uh, 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 when you do good use or when you reduce the cost of process. Okay, very good, perfect. Yeah, everybody is right. So a maximization, it means that you are going to get the most of the resources, the most, the most uh, products, the most resource. I mean, everything that you can get from that one. Optimization is that you can get the most, but without burning all the resources. So the difference is like this, for example, uh, in mind that we're working in a company and I want to maximize and um, the production is not, is not finishing very well. I need to, to have more products. So I say, everybody, we're going to work Saturdays and Sundays because we need to maximize our resources. So that is maximized. We are going to give everything so everything, all the products are, are going to be there. 
optimization is when I think mm, maybe it's good for everybody to work Saturday in the morning, but if they work all Saturday and Sunday on Monday, they are going to be sick. Maybe they are not going to be happy or in good conditions. So I think about that one. And then I try to do my best, but without uh, burning everything around. So that will be the main difference. Okay, the uh, paragraph is going to be for Adriana. I'm sorry, we cannot hear you. I don't know what's going on. Can you hear me? A little bit now, yeah. Hello? We can hear you right now, yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Yes. Uh, so okay, I, teacher. Warehouse optimization. Ah, okay. No. I don't know. Optimizing your warehouse operation involves fine tuning each of these warehouse management processes. For example, when receiving goods, an organization can label items with mobile vehicles or attach RFID tags to make them easier, easier to find when picking. During put away a well managed manage, manage warehouse operation store items in the mini minimum amount of space to maximize to maximize the capacity the cap the capacity of the warehouse. Other best practice for warehouse optimization include storing popular items in easily accessible areas and separate areas that can easily be mistaken for one another. Very good, perfect. Okay, uh, did you, can you hear us right now? Can you hear? I guess you can't, okay. So yeah, uh, optimization is very important. So optimizing your warehouse operation involves fine tuning each of these warehouse management processes. So we checked already about the processes before, the seven most basic processes. So here we says that we need to fine tuning each of these processes. What is fine tuning? That is the first question. Uh -huh, anybody? The tuning is something like for a radio, but in this case, I think that you have to find the the thing, the symphony. I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, tune. Have you ever heard that phrase that says tune up? We're going to tune up maybe the cell phone, maybe the car, maybe anything like that. So tune up means that you are going to add things so it looks better. So this is like that. Fine tuning is like when you are going to check all the procedures and you are going to improve to make the processes to be nice, to work properly. Okay, for example, it says when receiving goods, an organization can label items with mobile barcodes. Of course, you know what are the barcodes, right? So the codes with bars and numbers, those are the barcodes. Or attach air, um, RFID tags to make them easier to find when picking. So yeah, we know that all the warehouses, they do similar things. 
didn't put away a well-managed warehouse operation stores items in the minimum amount of space to maximize the capacity of the warehouse. Of course, also we know that. Other best practices for warehouse optimization include storing popular items in easily accessible areas and separating items that can easily be mistaken for one another. So those two tips are very good. When you have popular products that you know that they are not going to be a lot of time in the warehouse, you need to put them in an, a very accessible part on the warehouse. So you can just bring them and move them very fast. And the other one, if two or three products are similar, we need to separate them so we do not make a mistake and send to a customer the product that is not the current one. So those two tips are actually very, very good. It happens. <laughs> I'm sorry? It happens to us. Really? What happened? More, more on one occasion, uh, there are two codes similar. Only one letter change and someone, uh, the auxiliary take the, the, the wrong. And also in the, how do you say, uh, sala de ventas? Uh, you can say at the store. At okay. The main store. Uh -huh. Also at the store, uh, the, my partner give the, the product and the sales doesn't pay attention and he give to the, to the client. After a moment, when I have to contabal, con, how do you say contabil, uh, the um, make the content. Yeah, I have to make a content the 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 sale in the system. It, it it makes a mistake because the series doesn't match with the model, and I say, mm, what happened here? And it was a mistake because he takes the another code, no, the correct. It happens. Yeah, that happens. And what did you yes. do? Did you call the customer and did you achieve? Yes, yes. For okay. we we tell to the to the sale. Oh my God! Can you talk to the client? We, it's a mistake. Oh my, it's my fault because I didn't see. Oh my God! <laughs> but yeah. Sometimes we do, um, we are very uh, worried because, oh my God, if, if my boss, that my boss or boss is the, the owner of the company, if my boss uh, notice that, oh my God, but sometimes <laughs> we arrange all the things uh, uh, at the goods. <laughs> Okay, very good. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, but I mean, it happens. It happens. And I believe that right now, uh, now in the warehouse, or oh, the system is a little bit different. Maybe you change the code or anything like that. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what happened. Whenever that happens, whenever there is a mistake, of course you need to not only correct with the customer, but also correct the the procedure, the process, the the name or the position. Anything has to be done, right? Yes, there are many, many ways to make mistakes and you, and you have to pay attention and you have to, to be more um, accurate or maybe mm, uh, you have to pay attention and the products have to be with a good uh, label identified in the correct code, everything. And, and doesn't put away uh, nothing. Oh, I put it here in, the, in that way. Uh, later, I put it in the right place. No, but it happened. Oh, I, I have two. I have three, but it's only two in the, in the shelter. Oh, my God, we see another. And we another is in another shelter. And that happened. That happened because... Mm, you don't have uh, a, how do you say, without a care. Yeah, you're not that careful. Yes, you know, you know, you're not careful. 
Careful. Yeah, actually that happens. Even when your control and the system is very accurate. I mean, that happens even to Amazon with all the systems and the million dollars. Some people, they receive the wrong items sometimes. So, okay, we're going to check the attendance and then we're going to continue. So let's see. Ada, Patricia, Linares, Galdames. Here, teacher. Good. Adriana, Stephanie, Martinez, Flores. Good, I know that you're there and that you have problems. So, Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present teacher. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdamez. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present, teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Salud, salud. Goodbye. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present. Good. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Jancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Okay, so we are going to continue. Let me just check. Oh, here's it. Okay. So we're, we're going to watch two videos as usual. We are going to listen and watch the videos and then provide a feedback, provide about what you understood on the video, okay? So, oh, it's not this the right one, hold on. I need to do a little trick so you can, you can hear. Uh, is this one okay? Ooh, okay, I guess now it's possible. So here we go. Welcome to Palms Academy. In this video, let us look at what is a warehouse management system. What is a WMS? Meet John. John is the head of supply chain at XYZ Corporation. John is responsible for the overall supply chain of the company and handles operations in multiple types of warehouses. Warehouses can be classified based on the kind of material they handle and the kind of operation or requirement they cater to. The different types of warehouses that John handles are raw material warehouses, finished goods warehouses, temperature controlled warehouses, cross dock warehouses. Each warehouse caters to a specific function. Among the different types of warehouses, there are certain commonalities. They are each warehouse has security controlled entry and exit gates, receiving and dispatch docks, storage locations. Within storage locations, different configurations of storage spaces like rack storage, floor storage, a combination of rack and floor storage, damage locations, MHEs, other optional facilities that are provided in the warehouses include sorting areas, packaging and repackaging areas, kitting and de-kitting locations. John is struggling to manage the operations across all his warehouses and to ensure smooth functioning of the supply chain. John is thinking about implementing a WMS to help manage operations across all his warehouses and also to give him and his supervisors critical data about the state of operations in each warehouse. So, 
What is a WMS system and what are the advantages provided by a WMS? A warehouse management system is a software solution that controls all the activities in a warehouse. A WMS provides visibility and controls critical operations like inventory management, location management, receiving and put away, picking, sorting, packing, loading, invoicing and dispatch, movement and storage of material in the warehouse, inventory reconciliation. One of the major advantage of a WMS system is that it eliminates dependency on warehouse personnel in terms of inventory status and operational decisions. The system takes care of important functions like location suggestion, allocation policies, guided operations. In order to optimize operations within a warehouse, a good warehouse management system should be able to handle all the activities explained. Please refer the next set of videos for more details on end-to-end -end warehouse operations. Good. So, what did you understand with this person with a strange accent? Anybody? Uh, teacher, este, uh, I, I, I think uh, John is brain of operation system in the company. Very good. So he is in charge of the warehouse. So he's the manager on that one. And it's not that easy, right? So many things he has to do. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you, Osmin. Anybody else's? I think the is this WMS is very important for the uh, for the succession or or, or um, for warehouse. Uh, I help I help a uh, maintenance ordinary in packages and receive and treatment uh, is the many operation or many operation uh, reduce cost in, in attending class. Okay, very good, perfect. Yeah, it's very important the WMS that is remember warehouse management system. So it's a system that you need to have for you to manage everything. What else did you get? Anybody else? Teacher, the warehouse management system is the principal uh, form of workflow in a warehouse. Very good, perfect. So it's is the spine of the the whole thing in the warehouse, right? If you have a very nice system, everything will be working smoothly. Any other one? In a few words, I understand that he, John, I think, is interested in in obtain a WMS system, and they say that. Um, uh, it helps to manage the operations and provides you visibility and, crit and control critical. Okay, definitely. I mean, he's, he manages the warehouse, but with the system would be much better, right? Definitely. And also because he, uh, do you remember that he said that he handles different kinds of warehouses, like raw materials, finished goods, sorts, things like that. So. That was very good. Okay, we're going to check another video. This is a tour of real warehouse management system. So let's pay attention. And at the end, we're going to provide some opinion or comments on this one. Here we go. 
place of channel. My name is Mickey. Today, I'm going to give you a tour of our biggest warehouse management system that we've ever done. We're going to show you how we receive product, how we pick product, how we put product away in a picking location, how we ensure that you rotate out your oldest product first with first in, first out, track lot numbers, and last but not least, how you can go up and down the warehouse and know exactly what you have in each bin at any point in time. The goal for you is learn how one of these big warehouse systems works so that when you're shopping around for one, you make the best decision. Anyways, let's get right into it. So now we're sitting in the warehouse's receiving dock where product comes in through these doors and it gets received into inventory. Whether the product is coming in built pallets, mixed pallets, or right on the floor of a big container, product is taken right through these doors off the container and it's placed right here in the receiving dock. The receiving dock is where product gets counted by the warehouse management system and where the product eventually gets palletized, wrapped in saran wrap, and labeled with a QR code that contains how many products are on that pallet, what the lot number is, what the expiration date is, and what the quantity is. All right guys, so this is the palletizing section in the warehouse right here. As the product comes off the truck and it gets palletized, it's placed here, it's saran wrapped. Once it's saran wrapped, follow me over here. We print out a pallet label and that pallet label prints out of these thermal printers right here. That label is placed on the pallet itself to be able to give it a QR code. And that's a QR code that gets scanned to indicate which product is going into which bin location, which is what I'm gonna show you next. I'm gonna show you how the product gets scanned and how that pallet gets go goes from the, the floor of the warehouse in this receiving dock into its actual overstock bin location. So now that we've received the product officially into our warehouse, we've labeled the product on the pallet utilizing this little device. This is the device that we use to both scan the product in against its purchase order and from here, we send the command to that printer you just saw to print out that pallet label. Follow me real quick. You'll see on the pallet label how the label itself looks. So, so you can see right there, it's got a QR code, the name of the product, the expiration date, the lot number, and the date it was received. Now, in order to get this product to check in to this bin location, what you have to do is you have to take this device, you bring this product over from the receiving area on your pallet jack, and you're gonna scan the product in like so into its location. So you can see that this product was scanned into here. Now, remember, this is normally a picking location. A picking location is a location from which you pick the product. The overstock locations above are where you normally check it in and then you rotate it down from above down here. Now, that's not to say that our system is closed off or it'll make you do anything. The thing is, our system will allow you to optimize the space in your warehouse and check in the product using this scanner. All that matters is that you scan that barcode into any of these QR codes. That's all that matters. As long as you do that, the system will know the whereabouts of every pallet in your warehouse. So now that you know how we check product in, it's important to discuss how that product is transferred from above to down below. So if you follow me real quick, and um, let's, let's use this example over here. You can see right up there, you know, we've got, we've got a pallet of a product. Now that pallet has a different lot number than the one down here. It also has a different expiration code. So what our system does, if you want to track lot numbers, if you want to do first in, first out, okay, you want to ensure that that product down there is picked first prior to transferring that product from above down below. So that is how we maintain first in, first out. Now, how do these transfers work? It's easy. You walk up with your scanner, you scan. In this case, you would scan the third bin, boom, and then you would scan the bottom bin where it's going to. And that would allow you to transfer that pallet from above to down below. And again, that's gonna happen once this pallet runs out of product. So that is how we utilize first in, first out to transfer product from above to below. Now, let's keep walking down and I'm gonna to explain to you guys how we do cycle counts within our inventory system. So if you follow me, let's go look for a bin location down here that has maybe some product that's almost out. So let's look for one. I see one right there, you can see it. So let's head over there. Okay, so let's say for example that we come to pick out of this bin and the system is reporting that we should have 10 cases in that bin. And when we look physically, we go in the picket, it only has one case. The beauty of this system, all you have to do is tap cycle count. You come here, you scan the QR code representing this bin location, and you put in the amount of product you see in there. And the system will make the cycle count for you. Now, when you have a warehouse management system, in, all you have to do is worry about cycle counting the picking bins. Because when you cycle count the picking bins, you're able to save time not having to cycle count everything above that you've already checked in, okay? So the cycle counts are as easy as, boom, scan the, scan the bin, input the quantities, and the system makes the adjustment for you, and then that adjustment goes to your accounting system. 
okay? So now, come over here. I wanna discuss with you guys how the system handles one more thing, which is how do we handle different areas in the warehouse? So if you come with me here down to the end of the warehouse, I'll show you the areas. In this warehouse, there are three sections. There is a section called the dry goods or the grocery. That's what you see here. There is a refrigerated section, which is the second section in here. And the third section is a freezer all the way down at the end. Each of those sections is mapped out 100% in our uh, inventory management system. And each section has mapped out dimensions for the bins. Even if you utilize the passageways or the aisles as bins, you're able to map all those things without our within our system. And as a result, you're able to know the exact whereabouts of every single product within your warehouse. Now, the bottom line is when you get to that bin location, if you're able to scan the bin location or when you scan the bin location, the system will tie the pallet to that location. So technically you could even have bin locations up in the roof or wherever you want, just as long as you label them and you map them out in our system. The last part in the warehouse that we want to talk about is the interaction between the inventory going on a truck and off a truck. Back there you see a truck and it's actually unloading product into the warehouse. But normally, most distributors have trucks where product is loaded onto them. And they go out and make deliveries and then those distributors or those trucks come back with remaining product. Within our system, we have a route return function right here. That route return function allows you to scan everything coming back off the truck and redirect it, whether it be to a damaged bin location or to its actual picking bin. This allows you to close the loop on any product that you may potentially lose, and it allows you to save thousands, even hundreds of thousands, or maybe even millions of dollars when it comes to waste, theft, and shrinkage from your drivers. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I really hope that you enjoyed the tour of this warehouse and how the warehouse management system works within the actual warehouse environment. If you liked the video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe. We're gonna try to post videos like this every single week. If you're interested in a warehouse management system just like this one, I want you to hit the link below and I want you to put in your information. Let us know exactly what you're looking for. We'll give you a call to see how we can help you in your company. Okay, very good. So this was kind of fast. It was a little bit different. But I want to ask you, what do you remember about the video? What did you get? It was very interesting this video because I can see the workflow of a warehouse. The main activity is um, control each product. Uh, in this video, you can see that how it um, system support by a scanner. And in the in the scanner from all product uh, they, they uh, classificate by colors and to say that it's more easy to form any any product inside the warehouse it was very very nice the, the, the workflow because the IT support is is more easy the the function of uh, inside warehouse. Very good, thank you, Carla. That was very interesting. Yes, everything. I mean, the system itself is the one that is the main objective here. Uh, the way that, for example, they move all the inventory uh, from above to below whenever you move out one of the. Product. So that was very interesting. Any other opinion? It, this had other other point was it was amazing that that the order of product how because all product have in palette for day for color for product the order is amazing. So, very good. Yeah, the control and the order, the organization. The control and the order. Yeah. yeah. Perfect, thank you. So, uh, any yes, other? The, 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 in this case, the company is more orderly and organized in compared with the Amazon. <laughs> the, yeah. Yes, it's different, yeah. but the perception is more controlled when the, the warehouse is more orderly. That is true, definitely this, uh, I mean, the systems are different, right? Because in Amazon, it was like, whatever it goes, anything goes. But here, 
there was like an organization. You know exactly what is it. You know how to move things uh, in and out. And well, that was very, very good. So good. Any other opinion? Any other thing? It's very important uh, system, system, uh, throw, throw, low, low, labor, labor, control the, the price, the quantity, specific, and, and, uh, and it's can uh, uh, go to the phone. Go to the phone information, the product. Yeah, very good. So the system itself, it was the most important thing because with the system, with the scan, with the device and the label printing and all those things, they will be able to control and manage everything, the whole inventory. So that was very good. Good, any yes. other action? Any other opinion, comment? At the, at the beginning, he explained the, the process to receiving the, the product. Mm -hmm. He mentioned that he received a, a, a big container, a receiver in a dock, and the product is in pa palettes. I, I, I listen, palettes, yeah? Palet, yeah. Uh, I like the way that they put the, the label with the product ID, the quantity. That's the basic for a good logistic also in a warehouse. And they mentioned, I, I, I like, and I don't, I don't have an idea, but he mentioned many times the word being. And I was looking and being is a, a place to store something. He mentioned a being, it's been, it's been located. Oh my God, what's yeah. that? Yeah, it, it looks, and they mentioned that they, they use the, the FIFO, the FIFO, the FIFO system, the, the FIFO, FIFO system, the, yeah. the FIFO metal. Yeah. So this dispatch, the, the merchandise is, is that, is the, is the correct, first, first in, first out. Also, we use that, that metal because uh, our products are technology. Um, we have to, the first that is in is the first that is out because you can, uh, you can dispatch uh, uh, um, the things uh, for, uh, how, how can I explain that? Oh, okay. But I like it. I like the metal that they use in the company. Very good, perfect. Yes, actually the method that he that they use there, that's interesting as well. Five for first in, first out. So that is a very good way for you to handle the whole inventory. And um, also he was mentioning something else. I don't know if you remember that, well, you saw the warehouse <laughs> and you see that also there is the expiration. So sometimes, I mean, we didn't mention that before, but some, some products, they have an expiration, right? It should be there in the label, so you will be able to handle that. And also he mentioned that there are three different like warehouses inside of the warehouse. The one that we saw, there was another one that it was uh, with managed temperature and a freezer for other kind of goods other kind of products so also that was very interesting so they together they can handle any kind of any kind of products actually that was very good good anybody else before we move on okay so we're going to continue with the book so we can just move on this one. So we are still in unit three, warehouse, of course. And uh, it says, I will be able to identify and provide suggestions to common issues related to warehouse processes. Number one, it says, let's start. What are some problems that may affect warehouse providers? Uh, hi, everybody. What will be the answer for this one? What are some problems 
that may affect warehouse providers? What do you think? Change well, the price. I think change the price, order, order products, or bad ordinary products. Yeah, bad organization of products, of course, that affects. What else? If you receive a product that doesn't match with your purchase order. Definitely, that is a mess. The quality that you receive, the order says 75 and you receive 50. It happened to us. Uh, it happened to us, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's difficult. And the, that, cost, and the costs are different. Oh my God, it's a, it's a, it's a, a not. Maybe teacher the the extremes in the case extreme in the case uh, when the lack space and yeah. the other case when the the space is not used. Very good. Actually, those two things are very important. I mean, when you need more space, that will affect your productivity because you might sell more products, but it's not possible because you don't have the space. And when you have a lot of space also, you are paying. I mean, there is money spending there with empty spaces. So you could take advantage of that one. The next question says, how do you identify and prevent possible issues? How do you do that? How do you prevent possible issues in the warehouse? Order the inventory. Very good to have a very good inventory system. Organize, 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 and and they or put uh, where W S. The system. Very good. Definitely. That is very important to have a nice uh, inventory system and also the uh, way that you are going to have a system, a good system, uh, meaning the technology or any system that you might have. Very good. Any other? Maybe throw maybe good plan. Planification is okay. Yeah, planification plan. of program, plan or program the different um, activities or engagement contract uh, or reduce the 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 possible problems in the future. That is it. There I mean, is the effective plan. A definite plan is one of the most important things that you have a forecast that you have to plan the labor, uh, the processes, procedures. So that is very, very important. And of course, when a, a mistake happens, when something happens, you need to also correct that one. So that is also very basic. Good. So we are going Teacher, to check. Go ahead. Uh, yes, too. It's very important to uh, have a time plan to work for a good result. That is true. Whenever you set objectives and goals, you need to set time for those, one, right? So then you understand what you need to do so you can achieve that goal. Perfect. Good. Okay, so we're going to check the conversation. It says Mrs. White and Daniel are talking about some issues with purchase orders. With the conversation and take turns practicing. So we're going to practice. I'm going to tell you so you can analyze the pronunciation. It says, Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, that's not good. 
Oh, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, the, uh, we overpaid the three for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. So that is like the pronunciation. Do you have any questions on pronunciation? Reimbursement. Reimbursement. Re reimbursement. Reimbursement. Okay. Good. Any other question on pronunciation? Okay, so we are going to practice then. Uh, let's see, Rose and Carla. Okay, Carla. You are Mr. Okay. White. Okay. Daniel, I'm going over some porches. A porches or please continue because it's yes. Mrs. White. Ah. <laughs> Ah, I'm sorry, I, I, I have confused. Sorry, sorry, yes. sorry. Okay. Don't worry. Okay, Daniel, I'm going over some push order, but the product received don't match the orders. This has happened in three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during these days, the system received maintenance, and that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five so you can, can contact the company and ask for a, a reimbursement. Very good, perfect, nice. Now, Sandra, and uh, sell me. Okay. Daniel, Daniel, um, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the process side don't mark the orders. This has happened three times already. Hello, sell me, now is your time. Uh, Daniel, oh, I bet it happened during the day. The system received maintenance, and that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department. Determining the wrong cost as a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. I will send the document to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for a response reimbursement. reimbursement. Very good, perfect, nice. Now, Nelson and Ophelia. And Daniel, I'm going over some portion order box the poro receiver. I know marks I did order. This has happened. Three streaming already. Hello, Nelson, are you there? No, Nelson. So, Osmin, could you please help Ophelia? Yes. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. Okay, okay. Um, let's, Nelson okay. is back. Okay. Uh, 
I'm Mr. Y. I know you are Daniel. Ah, oh, Dan. Okay. Uh, oh, I did not have any during the day. The system receiver maintenance. And that's what your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct number. I will, I does fantasy. I the information I send to the financing the bar determining the broad cost as resulting. I will overprint for the three in coupling order. I will send the document to your department the five so you can contact the company and ask for reinvestment. Very good, perfect. Now, Osmin and Ada Patricia. Okay. I'm uh, Mr. White. Yeah, okay. okay. Daniel, I'm going over so, some purchase orders, but the product reside don't match of the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the days. The system received maintenance and what in, in that way, your department didn't receive the right information in the we have a copy a copy, a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the to the finance department determined the run cost. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. I will send that document to your department by five. So you can contact the company and ask for re a re reimbursement. Very good, perfect. Now, Flor in Guadalupe. Okay, Daniel, I'm going over some purchase order, but the product received don't match the orders. This happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the days. The system received manage and that's why you department didn't receive the right information in time in time we had a copy of with the correct number well that's fantastic the information sent to the finance department determine the growth cost as a result we overpay for three incomplete orders I will send the documents to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Very good. Reimbursement. Reimbursement. Okay, now Adriana and Pamela. Okay. Me, Mr. White. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, bye, Daniel. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the product reside don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Hello, Pamela. Oh, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance and that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information the information sent to finance, finance department determined the ground cost. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. I will send the do documents on your department by five 
so you can contact the company and ask for a re reimbur reimbursement. 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 Go ahead. Good. Sorry. Okay, very good. So now, Jansi and Zulma. Okay. You start, Jansi. I don't know if Jansi is available. Let me just check. Hello, Jansi. I guess she's not. Okay, so it's going to be Michelle. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm start. Yeah, okay. you can. Yeah. Okay, Daniel, I'm going over some purchase. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Some purchase orders, but the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the days the system received main maintenance and they why your department didn't receive the right information in, in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the run cost. As a result, we overpaid for the three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Very good, perfect. Now, Lourdes and Rafael. Okay. Mm, I am Mr. White. Mrs. White, yeah. Okay. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the product received don't match the order. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the days. The system received maintenance, and that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. I will send the document to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Perfect. Thank you very much. So. Uh, some pronunciation that we need to check into, uh, received. Remember that it's received with D at the end, received. Done received. Machine, received. Uh, what else? Let's see. Maintenance. Remember, everybody, the pronunciation is maintenance. Okay. Uh, didn't receive the information. That's fantastic. Center. Finance. The finance department. Uh, the wrong cost, let's see, overpaid, incomplete order. And probably the last one is reimbursement. So those are the words that you need to remember about pronunciation, reimbursement. Let's check some vocabulary. So what is, let's see, already, what is already? Anybody can what explain? What is the meaning? What, uh, what do you, how do you use that word? Already is, is the, the time is in the moment. Okay. When an action was done already, right? What happened? Good. Uh, the other one is, let me see. There was another one. Overpaid. What is to overpaid? Plus pay, extra pay, teacher. Very good. So overpay is when you pay more. 
than the normal or than the expected. And the opposite is underpaid. So underpaid is when you pay less than you expect. Uh, let's Teacher. see. Go ahead. What is the meaning bet? Oh, that's I the bet. other one I was. <laughs> Very good question. That's the one that I was looking for, you know, I bet. What is I bet? Anybody knows? Okay, I bet is, how can I explain this? Maybe with an example. It's like you, it's like you, oh my God. For example, in a, in a soccer game, I, I can bet for the another. Oh, I prefer one, one equipment. I bet for that the other is going to lose. Very good, that is bet. Bet is when you, well, in a strict, in a strict way is when you put some money because you believe that a team or somebody is going to win. So you believe that that is going to win. And if you win the bet, you will receive money. But we use mm -hmm. that in general as well. So when we say, I bet you ate my cake, for example. So it's like, I know you did it, right? Like I can, I can pay anything just to, to be sure that you, you did something like that. So I bet it's something like that. So do you understand that that part? Yes, thank right. you. You're welcome. Uh, and there is another, of course, reimbursement. What is reimbursement? Is that devolution? Very good. It's when you, uh, maybe you didn't use the product. Return. You, the return of the your money. money. Very good. That is it. So because of any situation, uh, you are asking for your money back. Money back guarantee, say the, the people there in the US. Good, do you it's have any like questions? It's like a refund? It's like a refund, actually. Yeah, it's a synonym. Yeah. yeah. Maybe the main difference is that reimbursement is when you didn't receive what you expect. And a refund, it might be for anything, uh, just your money back. Okay, so of course there are some questions here. So I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance. And we are going to read the conversation and complete the sentence. How is gonna be the number one? I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance. And that's why. Okay, and that's why. So it's like, I'm providing the reason why something happened. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information on time. And the other one says the information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. Uh-huh. As, as Very good. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. What is as a result? How do you understand that? Consequence. Very good. As a consequence, so it's something else happened. So that is it. Do you have any questions on this? No questions. No questions. Okay, we're going to stop about the book here. Okay, we have a few more minutes, so we're going to do free practice. But this time is going to be as an individual. So let's see how it goes. Um, let's see. Floor. Yes, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine. Very nice. How was your Tuesday? Very, very good. Okay, so nice. And uh, what time do you usually finish your work? At the time. Uh -huh. At the 5.30 p.m. 5.30, okay. And what time do you usually get home? The um, usually is 6. 
at six yeah. hours, it's very close, so it's not that far away. That is nice. So I guess you uh, you have dinner and relax and then go to the English class. Sometimes um, uh, I write the cooking and and usually I don't know cooking. So usually you don't cook. No. Yes. Okay. And who cooks in your home? Yes. Who? But who? The, who? Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the pay, pay pupusas. Ah, you or purchase other, food. Uh, uh, or other uh, panes con pollo. Ah, okay. Yes. Good. That sounds very good, actually. I'm hungry already. So, <laughs> what is your favorite food for dinner? Uh, the typical uh, it is um, platano and beans. Okay, cream and cheese. Yes. And do you prefer bread or tortilla? Bread. bread. Uh, for dinner, bread. Okay. The lunch. And the lunch, see. <laughs> okay, very good. So you have a balance. That is nice. Yes. That is good. Perfect. What time do you usually go to bed? At the 10.30. At 10.30. That's a good time. Yeah. Also. <laughs> and what time do you usually get up? Uh, 4 a.m. My goodness, that is very early. I am. I remember a time when I was going to the office that that was the time that I was waking up. So it was, I don't know. Right now that I work from home, I mean, I know that sooner or later I will go back to the office and I don't want just because of that. It's, it's hard, but I mean, you get used to it, right? First days are difficult, but then you are, you're fine with that. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Flor. Okay. Uh, let's see one more. Uh, um, Ophelia. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. Very nice. Where do you live? I live in, in San Salvador. San Salvador, very good. And do you work in San Salvador as well? Uh, I know, teacher. I am Santa Tecla. Ah, okay. So you travel. Travel. Mm -hmm. Is it difficult traffic in the morning? Yes, teacher. Traffic. Very difficult. And how do you get to your job? Thank you, teacher. How do you get to your job? Mm, no, teacher. You don't get so do you drive do you take a bus do you take the train do you take i don't know how do uh, you do no. that right now i i bus you take the bus yes teacher. okay very good and uh at, in the morning when you are going to your job is the bus crowded excuse me teacher yeah in the morning when you are going to your job is the bus crowded? No, teacher. Do you know what is crowded? You me, teacher. Do you remember what is crowded? Excuse um, me, teacher. I don't worry. I know that sometimes we don't remember words. Crowded is with a lot of people. So is the bus crowded? Yes, no, maybe. Black, no, teacher. White. No, so that no. is nice. That is very good. So you are relaxed there in the bus. And um, when you are there in the bus, 
are there are the the bus drivers always listening to music yes teacher what kind of music are they listening um english is okay. romantic english and romantic in my so you get to your job very nice very relaxed yeah, teacher. nice that is good <laughs> yeah that is very nice very good thank you ophelia okay teacher one more let's see who else is juby 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 uh osmin hi teacher how are you osmin i are i am fine here in my house now relaxing i can see there that you are outside so it's very nice right yes taking yes. Taking a moon bath. Yes, yeah, I, relax. I was planning to do that one, uh, you know, there outside on, in the garden, but I, I believe sometimes it's going to rain suddenly and that might be a disaster. So I don't think it's a good idea, at least by now. And um, um, where do you live, Osmin? Uh, I live in Lourdes, teacher. Lourdes, very good. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, do you work there in Lourdes as well? Yes, also here working in Lourdes. Okay. What time do you usually start your job? Mm, uh, of my house uh, or to my job, uh, five minutes in bus. Ah, five minutes is very nice. So it's not that much. And what time do you usually start? Uh, I start working eight, eight, eight in the morning. Okay. Hours a.m. Okay. And what time do you usually finish? Yeah, uh, a.m. The, the last day, twenty-four hours. Twenty-four hours. Yeah, I remember you say that before, right? Yeah. In security. And this. when you are at night, don't you sleep? Yes, uh, after midnight, I sleep. A little bit, right? Yeah. So you three. are al around three, okay. Uh, but are you alone or are you with other person there? Mm, uh, depending on the situation, the, the situation. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And yeah. well, we, yesterday, I remember that we were speaking about ghosts and things like that. So sometimes at night have you ever heard or seen something strange no uh, never no never okay we don't want that that's good yeah. <laughs> okay you. very good thank you Osmin. okay thank you you teacher okay so we're gonna finish the class of today we moved on a very nice and also i want to tell you that the next week there is no class okay this vacation for one week and then all the, the other all the week oh my god such so, good news. <laughs> so you can go to the beach and you can all go to week? the mountain the whole week in May. because friday is my, is my last day at work. Yeah, man, that's good <laughs> that is very good okay so but the next week of course we're going to finish okay so we Rest one week okay. and then the next is going to be the final one and then we'll finish. Next, next quiz, the okay. class. Yeah, the next, uh, yeah, this week normal, next week no vacation, and the other week is normal. Okay. 18, 18 star class. Uh, yeah, let me just check on the on the time on the date. Oh. We forgot the English. Teacher. Yeah, it's like <laughs> ah all right, that's very good. <laughs> Yeah, so the week from the 11 to 15, no class. The 18, we're going to continue, okay? Okay. Very good. Okay, so we're going to check the attendance, but before that one, is there any question about the class of today? No questions. Please. No, no, no questions. No question, nice. Okay, so we're going to check the attendance and then we're going to finish. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good.
Ana Selmi Chávez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present teacher. Present teacher. Uh, don't worry, that's fine. Okay, uh, Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present. Good night. Night. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good night. Uh, Sandra, for you is the 101 today. Okay, teacher. Good. William okay. Giovanni. I'm sorry? Go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, just a few more minutes, don't worry. <laughs> William Giovanni Rosales, no, right. Uh, Jancy Lisbeth Hernandez Mejia. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura Lopez Garcia. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Present teacher. Good. Good Ana Michelle Guevara, good night. Present. Good. And Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Perfect. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you. Have a fantastic night. Dream in English and see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Good tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Okay, hello Sandra, how are you? Hello teacher, fine, and you? Very tired, but fine. Okay, and okay. Uh, of course you have experience with the 101. So the first question is, how do you feel that you are moving on with the English class? Do you feel that you are learning, that you are getting vocabulary? How do you feel? Yes, yes, I think I think uh, I am learning uh, uh, slowly, slowly for me. Uh, I I think um, me cuesta or oh, it's difficult. It's it's difficult for me, and I. I don't have vocabulary, much, much vocabulary. Uh, I need practice. I need practice. Uh, I listen and uh, audios, audio video audios. Yes. I need, I need listen very. Okay. Much. Very good. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, it's very good that what I like about you is that you participate. Whenever we ask, what do you think? You participate. So that is good. If you continue. I try, I try to participate. Uh, uh, I, um, it's difficult or always, uh, but, but because try. That is very possible, good. Most possible. Yeah, actually, if you if you try, if you practice, you are going to you are going to do it very well. So that is the most important thing for you to practice. I, I think I think uh, um, mejorado or improved. Improved. I think improved. 
Very good. That is very nice that you are learning and that you are improving. That is important. Nice. Good. Okay. 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 Do you have any questions? Any anything on the topic or in grammar or anything that you want to ask? Mm, no, nothing. Okay. Very mm. well. So in the in the English, let's say in general, what is the one that is the most difficult for you? I mean to listen, to speak, to read, to write. What do you believe is the most difficult for you? Mm, to listen. To listen. So when to somebody- Listening and speaking, I am speaking. Okay, listening and speaking. When you okay, say- Agrai, agrai in, in writing is, is, mm, mm, Menos, menos difficult. Less difficult. Less difficult, yes, yes. Very well. And speaking uh, difficult. <laughs> but you try, that's good. Because you know, sometimes good. the good thing is that we understand each other. So that is, that is the first thing. And then you just need to organize your ideas. Try to think in English. Yes, yes. yes. Uh -huh. And yes. that is very important, not to, not to uh, think. Uh, as as being difficult organized ideas. Yeah, that sometimes happens. Sometimes there are words and to organize the words is kind of difficult, but if you practice, everything is going to be fine. But uh, I think uh, need uh, tradu traduction for understand. Ah, so that is a problem. Yeah, yes, you, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You need I to need, try, I uh -huh. see need traduction. Translate. Okay. Translate so, yeah, for you, understand. Okay, so in that I case. Need, uh -huh. I need Thai, Thai conversation. Okay, so if that is the issue, you need to start thinking in English. That is going to help you a lot. Okay, okay. Perfect, Sandra. Is there any other question that you have? I don't. I don't know. Question. Uh, I. I. Uh, I sabe, I, be, I know. I, I know. Huh? I. I. I know. Uh, practice. Practice. That is true. Just continue practice. You are doing a very good job. And well, by now, see you tomorrow and have a good night. Okay, teacher, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.